Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Wolfie and Maverick and welcome to another video. Now we have finally got our hands on FIFA 20. As you can see on the screen, we are going to be showing you guys the best way to start FIFA Ultimate Team. If this is your first time doing it, I'm going to show you the ways. If this is your return of FIFA Ultimate Team, we're going to show you what to do as you probably know from last year, but it is the best way as there are some new things in FIFA 20. On the screen, we have our starter pack. This is where you pick your team that has the players based from that uh, nation. So you have England, Brazil, France, Argentina, Germany, so on and so forth. Now tips from us, we would say usually to probably go for France. You can still do that, however, yeah. or the reason you would go for France is because there are so many players or good players from France that are in different leagues. You've got like Pogba or just, that's a, an elite player, but you've got some good players in the Prem, good players in the La Liga, good players in the French League and whatever. This year, we actually think it would probably be better to go for England because if you are a returning player from foot, you actually get some loan player packs and you get the likes of Jordan Sancho, yeah. uh, Van Dijk, I think uh, Harry Kane or someone. You can get Harry Kane as an option in the striker position and also Vinicius Junior. Now these are for returning players. Returning players get, as we've said, Van Dijk, Sancho and Vinicius Junior. They are confirmed for seven, five games, sorry, to be exact. I think Van Dijk seven. So for five to seven games, you get those players confirmed. Right, okay, so we're gonna go for England. And um, we suggest you do, but like it's up to you, so you don't have to go England. If you are from Brazil and you want to go for Brazil, go for it. Hopefully you get someone good. Hopefully we can get someone decent and then start to build a team around that and show you the ways to get coins and show you uh, packs you can get as well. So we get Chris Smalling from Roma. Which is probably the worst to get in respect that we were hoping for a BPL. But him being English does help because he does link with BPL players, which is kind of why we selected this. But he looks really, really cool in game as well because he has got the dreads, which I think looks sick. Relatively usable card as a starter player as well. John Barnes, and we also get Goslin from the Prem. Very, very, very nice start there. We've also got right mid. We've got the positions we need as well. The centre back, as I said, we can chuck Smallin in there. We've also got the Wolf centre back. So, like I said, even though he's not Premier League, he links perfectly with that back line. So that's exactly what we need. We've also got an English goalkeeper to go in goal. And we've got John Barnes to go up top. That is our starter team. Relatively good. Like I said, Smallin, Barnes. Uh, Vize would be happy because we've got Barnes. And uh, obviously, we have got Goslin, I believe his name is. So... Here is where you now select your loan player. So I'm gonna press advance. I need to pick a high rated player. I'm gonna pick the striker spot. And here we go, the options. We've got a Bamiang, we've got Aguero, we've got Higuain, we've got Suarez and Falcao. Now, naturally, being Premier League based or English based, we're gonna go for a Bamiang or Aguero. Yep. A Bamiang for me, being the five games, seems to make the most sense to go for him and for me as well in game he probably is going to be a better player yeah. than Aguero is. However it is worth noting that if you don't like the selections of the players you can actually press B or, or circle on PlayStation and go back and then pick another position. Say you're like okay actually I want to improve my right midfielder you can go back pick that position uh, and go back again if you want or pick whoever you want but we want to go um, striker but we we'll show you centre back. But centre back as well. There you go, you've got those options coming in. So depending what nation you picked as well, it's good to note that you will probably get similar options to this, give or take one player. Um, but yeah, we are gonna go for the striker, as Wolf said. We are gonna go for the likes of Aubameyang because he is gonna be an absolute beast in this game. So in he goes into that striker position. This is where, as we said, for the loyal players, the returning ultimate team players, you are going to have the option to have some packs once you've selected your kits. Now, there's two my eye goes straight to this one. See, mine goes to the bottom left that looks like armor. That's and, cool. And then also the bottom right, which is just, oh no, okay, no, armor. Braga all day. Oh, Ooh, that is decent. Oh, that is decent. I'm liking the red. But anyway, we're going off track. Do you know what? We're going Braga because it's cool. I've never seen that before, so we will go Braga. But once you pick your team, you then actually get to pick uh, two kits your home and away kit, and I think they're, they're every uh, team club in Ultimate Team. So you have, uh, it's random, so you get a selection of players. Then you pick your uh, crest as well. Now with your team 
ready to go. We feel like before you actually get into some games, there are actually still ways to improve your team. Mav kind of touched upon you. Uh, returning players will have uh, like loyalty packs. Yeah. We're starting on a brand new account just to show you guys who are brand new to this. Um, so we don't have those packs. So you can open those if you do get them. There'll be maybe some uh, loan packs. There's also, if you pre-order it, I think you get an icon loan pack. Yeah. Um, but we're going to show you guys season objectives. This is something new into FIFA 20, which is going to be vital. Really, 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 really cool addition. Massive props to EA on this one. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And we will show you reasons why we really like it. But... Of course, you can do all sorts of these challenges. There's seasonal, season, milestones, and foundation. So you can do all sorts. They're simple. Like you get the daily objectives like you used to, which is play matches, two matches, win one, buy a player. Simple. But to start off, go over to the foundations tab. And again, we have completed one just by doing what we're doing. There you go. Training SVC. Simple as you like. It's only 150 coins, but bang. There we go. We've got a trophy end as well. If you go through these ones, these are really the basics. You get the odd coin here. You also get the odd pack reward as well. Um, so there you can go. You can get silver packs. You can get contract packs. You can get all the little things you need to start off the game. Premium gold play, 13 player pack there. Really, really useful for starting out. But as Wolf mentioned, this is the cool part. Obviously, the season progress. Van Dyke, as I said, you can get him for another five games. So if you are a returning player, you've got him for a minimum of 10 games from the start. Yeah, that, that's crazy. But me and Wolf were undecided on who we would select. As I'm going through, you guys can see there are a lot of rewards throughout the season. And it's probably worth noting that the way you actually progress is by getting XP. And to get XP is by completing uh, objectives. So the likes of the daily objectives, the, the season objectives and the foundations. So the more of those sort of stuff you do, the more XP you get and then you're gonna rank up through this season progress which happens or it lasts for 50 days. I don't know if that is like a set uh, time limit. I don't know if season two might be 60 days instead of 50. We don't know that. But for season one, you've got 50 days to do as much as possible to get to level 30, which is then when you get a storyline player. And we, as Mav said, we yeah. are undecided on who we would go for. You've got the likes of an upgraded Zaha. You've got a Taliso and you also have a Lucas Vazquez. Now, going into their stats, as we said, they are upgraded. They 97 stamina on this Vasquez, he looks incredible. If you've gone La Liga, obviously it's a no-brainer to go for him. If you've gone French or you've gone Bundes, it's almost a no-brainer to go for Taliso. Now for me, I'm gonna be Premier League um, and I believe Wolf is as well. And a lot of you guys at home will be, obviously being from England and the UK mainly. Zaha, he looks phenomenal. And this is for literally, like we said, completing objectives. You don't have to put any money into this. It's only time. So if you can be bothered, this is going to be a great player. Yeah, and so that is season objectives. Do as many of the foundations ones as possible. Like you said, we do individual ones, then you'll get group rewards. Um, but then moving after that, we definitely suggest getting into squad building challenges. Now, the best ones to do, I think you actually have to do these first, is the let's get started, which are so easy. They're so, so easy. And um, we're going to do a brief overview of them as from this point. First exchange, exactly bronze. Team Chemistry 12, you can use your bronze players again. And again, this third one, which is Nationalities Exactly Free, Chemistry 17. We will do one of them to show you guys the template and what you've got to do. But trust me, it's really, really simple and you don't really need us to show you. But again, Exactly Free Nationalities in this one. So I'm just going to go onto the bench. I'm going to go all the way down to the lowest bronzes I've got. There's one cam there. And there's a, another English CDM uh, striker there. I'm going to go striker because those two link together. So striker in there, cam in there. And then the other two literally are just have to be bronze players. They can be left mids and right mids, but they can be bronze players. It really is that simple to complete these ones. Um, you don't really need us to show you, you them all. So we're going to come back once we've completed all of them. Let's get started, completed as mentioned, and you get a two players pack. Now, this pack, it literally is, as it says on the tin, is two players. It could be something amazing or it could be something that's okay. I'm going to open the bronze pack, which again, we're going to use in the next set of SBCs, which are absolutely vital, but I'm going to skip through that because no one wants to watch a bronze pack open down a tunnel. Let's be honest about it. But the two player pack, here we go. I'm going to leave this one to run. 
Hopefully we could get someone decent just for this video. Imagine we pulled someone sick. Okay. Could be a board. No, okay, it's not a board player. It's not a board. Centre back, Stambouli. 78 rated. Uh, decent, decent centre back. Obviously, he's not going to fit into our team right now. But moving forward, it might be a player that we use if we want to transfer over to a French team. He is obviously very, very usable. And we were unfortunate there to get a silver player, but you can, of course, get two gold players. So they could both be very useful to you. Now, again, as I said, now what you want to do is go back into the challenges and go over to let's move forward. Because what you get here is... Again, I'm, we're going to show you the outsets and we'll do one of them with you guys and then complete the rest. But you have to exchange exactly bronze players for all of them. Team chemistry 8, 8 and 9. You basically just have to chuck your bronzes in that you don't want and upgrade them to a gold. So, prime example, we're going to go into the defensive one. It asks for three centre-backs. I don't think you need to give exactly centre-backs, but I'm going to anyway uh, because we... We aren't going to use them so yeah here we go center back center back center back and final slot there so we are essentially putting in three bronze center backs to get a gold one which is a give like it's easy easy money well you don't get money but i mean such a good upgrade um so we'll do the rest and then we'll show you the players we get hopefully they'll be useful to the team we're trying to build let's move forward completed and this is where we can show you guys why this is vital as a as you can see on the front, it's a gold centre mid, overall 80, but this is for starter teams. You've spent nothing on it, you've exchanged unwanted bronzes. Goalkeeper slot, it, there we go. We get Joe Hart. Beautiful. And of course, you get a Bundesliga keeper, a Ligue 1 keeper, a La Liga keeper, and a Serie A goalkeeper. So you get a keeper from the big leagues, and this is going to boost your starter team. Absolutely no end. So Joe Hart for us. Centre back, who do we get to partner Chris Small in? We get Duffy, who's from the Premier League. Um, there we go. And of course, again, options from all the other leagues. Bender would have been a great option if we had gone Bundesliga. Yeah. Uh, but there we go. We take Duffy. Centre midfield. Can we get a Jack Wilshire or something like that? Are you a psychic? There we go. We literally get Jack Wilshire, Klassen, Bruno, uh, Crisante as well. But of course, for our team, we're going to go Jack Wilshire. And finally, the striker slot, a Dwight Gale or uh, Andre Gray or Callum Wilson or something like that would be perfect here. We've already got Barnes. That's not <laughs> ideal. That is not ideal. But what we can do here is go, okay, if we go La Liga, we can take Toko here. So you can obviously do that. If you go, I'm going to go Prem now, but my final team or I want to transition into a La Liga at some point, you can, of course, pick options to suit that. So... Adding them into the squad and technically into the team bolsters that so, so much. So now we're in a position where we've got a team which you can start going into friendlies with. You can start going into your ranking games in rivals if you really, really want to. And you're in a much better position and you've spent zero coins. So let me just remove a couple from the squad and add a couple of the gold ones in. And while I'm else doing that, it's worth noting for the uh, season objectives, probably the best ones to start working on at the moment are the house rule type uh, matches, the friendly, the online friendly. So you've got the likes of Mystery Ball, uh, King of the Hill, Swaps. Um, I think there's a max chemistry one as well. So if you do them, you actually don't uh, lose any fitness, any contracts, and you don't get a loss or win on your record. So if you're worried about that, that's a bonus. And also because contracts are going to be hard to get or you don't really want to be spending your coins on the, th uh, the things like contracts and fitness, do those online friendlies because you don't lose contracts and you don't lose fitness and you'll actually get XP. Complete objectives which would then get more coins and packs. So like Wolf said there as well, we have now got a full chem team. You have got the option to go and do those further things and complete the further things. But you've, we've spent zero coins and we are at 100 chem team and almost a full gold team. If that's not the best way to start Ultima Team, I don't know what is. So guys, as Matt said, that's going to wrap everything up. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did find it useful, drop it a thumbs up. It'd be greatly appreciated. Comment down below 
your first player that you got in FIFA Ultimate Team on FIFA 20. If you are new, make sure you subscribe and join the Wolf Pack. We've got so many FIFA videos coming your way this year. And also we have a brand new Road to Glory series coming very, very soon. So you're going to want to keep an eye out for that. It's going to be a good one. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up. It's been your boy Wolfie and Maverick. And until next time, guys, we're out.